Early this year, responding to the nation's call, President Wamba announced 13 measures intensifying the campaign on gender-based violence in the country. Among others was the Day of Prayer, which was done, an amendment to the laws related to the gender-based violence to make them more effective. The president stated the high number of GBV incidents made Namibia gain a shameful reputation. You are destroying your we and one of them. We are destroying the good name of our country. We are. And I say, shame. He does welcome to the second conference, which brought people from all walks of life together to seek solutions to the crime. The first conference was held in 2007, where Zero Tolerance and Advisory Committee on GBV was introduced, among others. This conference is thus expected to assess the impact of the intervention of the first conference. Almost on daily basis, we read and hear about cases of gender-based violence in the local media. More often than not, these crimes take place in a domestic setting, targeting spouses or partners the president acknowledged the complexity of gender-based violence because it takes place right in the heart of the bedroom. But he was quick to point out that there will be no giving up until both men and women live in peace and harmony. Why making our mothers to cry? Because of our inhuman behavior. Again I say, what kind of society? The kind of a nation President Poamba wants to lead is a society with high respect for each other, particularly for women who endure labor pain. The best gift men can give to women, and by extension mothers, is by loving and protecting them. Saima Shanika, NBC News, Vintuk.